Meanwhile, in the land of darkness, John, is everyone all right? Who made it to the planet's surface? Regardless, all surviving Marines to me are under my control now. Superstition from the locals warrants an investigation near your area. Reports indicate that some civilians have been brainwashed by some Necron Lord, Zoker Borg of the Rotor Turth Dynasty. Zoker, welcome abhorrent humans. John, a tomb world run by the worst the galaxy has to offer. Rooster Teeth Riders and Simps. Ramsey, are we sure they are not just worst dregs of humanity? Tyrion, funny coming from a world eater. Vox Communici, Crow, glad to hear you three are still alive. There was a derelict light cruiser I and the rest of the survivors fled to. Guns are operational, ready to call down orbital strikes on the Necrons on your mark, Force Commander. John, good work. Then more Necrons came from the shadows of the land and fought the Space Marines to a stalemate. Dom, Ramsey, we managed to halt the Necron advance for now. Send over some of your guardsmen to reinforce our position while we hold the line. Ramsey, we have something that we were able to salvage from the battle barge hold them off a little while longer. The Necrons are pushing the defenders back ever so slightly as their Gauss cannons has already erased a number of Imperial Guardsmen and Space Marines under their heavy volleys. The Imperials are losing ground. Tyrion, whatever plan you have, we need it now. John, Ramsey, focus on that plan of yours. I'm directing all Imperial Guardsmen to lay down heavy artillery barges to drive a wedge between you and those machines. A Necron Lord now stands on the middle of the battlefield as he revives the fallen and counterattacks. John, you got to be kidding me. Ramsey, whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Ramsey, here it comes. Then something emerged from the machine platform. Warhound Titan, super heavy support standing by. John, seriously, Ramsey? All right, all units support the Titan as it pushes forward. The Titan destroyed a lot of the Necron Horde as the Necron Lord falls back into the shadows. John, even under the guns of a Titan, their defense holds. Emperor preserve us, I can imagine the nightmares await us as the rest of the tomb world awakens. They continue hammering the Necrons until their defense finally crumbles. Ramsey, Crow orbital strike on the last monoliths they have now. Crow, copy that macro cannons loaded. Wait for the fireworks, boys. As the light cruiser bombards the, the last remaining Necron structure within the region, halting the awakening then reinforcements in the form of an Eldar strike force arrives to completely destroy the hollow shells of the downed Necrons. John, impeccable timing from my Eldar brethren, we needed a permanent solution to these abominations. Taldir, do not worry brother, John our wraith weaponry can stem this tide. John, hold on. More awakenings have been detected near the region. Prepare for more incoming attacks. Dom. Understood. Reinforce your squads and get those machines up and running. We need to form a more substantial force if we are to have any chance of surviving this. Commander John, how goes the orbital battle? John? Bad news. It seems that there were more Necron ships within the moon than we thought. Incoming Vox Communicae. Omron. Then why not just exterminate us the damn thing? John, it will upset the balance my already fragile home can take. I'd rather have my people still have a planet they could call home. Magnus, indeed Omron, stop thinking with your muscles for once. Omron, what was that? I couldn't hear you over the noise of nobody asked. John, knock it off uncles. I will personally lead this strike force at the moment. Uncle Magnus, get in contact with Grandfather and tell them we are engaged and suffering losses all over. We could really use their help. Magnus, I got you nephew. One warp telegram on its way. John, all right, Uncle Omron, what is your status? Omron, I have cleaned up the grim you spoke of. 
Some of them were a treat to fight with, but mostly no challenge. I even butchered these weird of humans with white masks on in this mountain we came across. John. And T. Glenn. Oh, and those are extremists called the White Fan. Well, nothing was lost. Those animals are a waste of life in itself. Omron. We are finished here, and we will join the strike force. I will enjoy smashing these damned metal skeletons into powder. John. Understood. Make haste we have more than enough problems over here. I, I am on a Thunderhawk now, and en route. The battle is getting more intense as more and more of the buried Necrons come back to life. The battle for Remnant's future hangs in the balance, and Force Commander John has joined the battle.